Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. I am using my Moyu London Tim Burton's Corpse Bride stamping plates. There was two in the collection. So I haven't really done much yet. This is the first plate. And then this is the second plate, which is what I was going to try to use because it has these layered images. was better. Okay. Over her hair. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be a good blue, but um, once I put it down, it's actually, well, at least to my eye, looks very close to kind of that bluish color that's in the pictures. Okay, that's better. Powder blue for her neck. I might do that again just because it didn't get good coverage over the dark, darker colors. You can still kind of see the white line under there, but I think her um, bodice will cover up a good bit of that. I think that's what that's called. I'm using that word. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm using it correctly. And then her face. I might try something different this time. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I keep getting the placement wrong, so I'm gonna see if I can do this. I am going to pick up the full facial, facial features. Oh no, that's not good. My card got too gooey, it um, had fuzz stuck to it. So 
Should I do this one? Yeah. So I'm going to pick up the whole thing and stamp it. And then stamp the pieces on top. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can place things correctly. So... Weird. It's like I can't figure out why it's so. I'm still not gonna be right. Something's still off, but I'm not sure what it is. Stay white, that part anyway. Oh, nope, I need to clean it. Those little eyebrow pieces need to match her hair. Alright, that's a little bit better. Her lips are a little weird. This is where the magic happens, though. The stamping always looks a little rough. I say this a lot but it's trust the process it might look like you're not doing a great job but because it looks all rough but once you put that on it just smooths out really nicely okay so <laughs> that's much better right uh, there's still a little th some things that are a little off this one is yeah let's let's um put her to rest but that one's cute it's okay. It's not it's not perfect. Oh, I don't why did I do that? That there. gonna be wearing them anyway but I don't usually like I don't like end images facing out because they're like going off the page I like them all kind of going in um 
but that's just not going to happen for this. I want to put something up there with the dog, but the little scroll work didn't come out good, so... That one's super simple. And I'm gonna use this color by Maniology Velveteen. And I'm gonna pick up this, what I call a damask type image. I don't know really what it is. time to get some of those sides added. Do the side first. It doesn't even matter if they match. It's just to get something on the I don't want those skeletons showing up, so let me get those off. It's just to get something in there so that it doesn't look so blank. It kind of messes, messes up the overall image, but I'm not going to sit here and fiddle with that. It's a shame it's not big enough to cover the whole nail because these aren't even large nails. I think I'm going to leave them as is. <laughs> 